Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to rename Excel sheets in UiPath. So these things I'm going to show you using invoke VBA activity using VBA code. So we have this Excel file. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to show you how to rename the existing Excel sheet. Let's say we have this summary one and I want to replace this with new name that is only summary. So we can do it in UI path using VBA code. I will also show you that how to rename Excel sheet only if that sheet exists. It means we can handle the errors. So let's start. So first, whenever you are going to use VBA code to work on Excel file. So first you need to open one Excel, Excel, go to file, click on option, then click on trust center, then settings, then click on macro settings, then check this checkbox and click OK. Now you are ready to run VBA code in UiPath. So now here we need to take Excel application scope because if you want to use invoke VBA code, you need to use Excel application scope. Now select the Excel file. So currently we are passing hard code value. You can take it from your variable from your arguments. Now type here invoke VBA this one. Select that code. So we have VBA code. We have written this in the text file. So we need to select that one. Go to desktop and search for rename Excel sheet. So this is the text file that we have where I have written the code to rename the Excel sheet. So this can be also taken from arguments or variable. Now here in the main, so this is the entry method here we need to pass that. So we have this notepad. So I'm going to show you how to rename seat. So copy that method and paste here. So this is the entry method. So this is the sub or like function name to be invoked. Now you can see here, this is the sub rename seat open close bracket seats of the bracket in the it means seats of the name of the seat dot name equals to new name. It means this name will be changed with this one. So this is your old seat name seats of this dot name equal to this. It means this is same as like your variable. Let's say you're you're going to assign some value dim dim a as an integer like that and a equals to 10. So what will happen 10 will be assigned to value a. If you already have this a equal to 10 and you want to assign other value. So again, you can pass like a equals to 20. So what will happen? This value will be overwritten to this variable. So now instead of 10, now the value will be 20 will be assigned to a variable. So this is same like you already have one variable with the name seat one and you want to change that name to seat two. So this value just will be assigned to this one, right? Delete this. Here we have seat one and I want to change this seat one to summary two. So I have written this code. So only this line, these things you need to write in your text file and then that will rename that one. So now run this one. And you will see here this seat one will be renamed 
with seat summary 2 okay so there is something uh, cannot run the macro rename seat the macro may not be available in this workbook so the problem is let me save this first close this might be i tr tried running multiple things on that same excel file and it was opened that time now let me open it one more time so sometime it happens if you are using that excel file with macro codes so at least you should close one time so that it will apply those settings now you can run this there will be no problem you will see here seat one will be renamed now okay so there is no error and you can see here now seat one has been renamed with summary two now second thing so this is like you can rename multiple seat you just need to take multiple invoke activities so that is the simple way like take multiple to to rename multiple seats or like what you can do you can just copy this code so this is also a simple way copy this code paste mul multiple time as per your requirements so let's say you want to re uh, rename seat one with some summary summary one seat two with summary two seat three with summary three so like that so it will replace it will rename seat one with summary one seat two with summary two like that so you can rename multiple seats also same code will be used for multiple seat rename now the next thing i am going to show you how to rename seat if seat exist so let's say now again i am going to run the same code that is this one let me delete this and i am going to run this one that i want to rename this seat one with summary three now and i am going to run that so what will happen now seat one doesn't exist on this here on this uh, workbook so it will throw an error you can see it's throwing an error so if you don't want to get this error so how can you resolve that one so only one line you need to write here let me show you now you just need to write on error resume next it means whenever there is an error while writing this while changing the name so it will just go to next resume next it means if there is error here it will resume next and go to end sub so it will end this a specific sub or a specific method right so let's say i'm going to run this one now so copy this and paste here so only you need to write this things save this and run this now so what will happen first it will check seat one is exist or not if there is no nothing if that that seat is not found so it will not throw an error because we have written on error resume next and you will see here it didn't throw any, any error because we have written in this code we have written on error resume next so whenever there is an error on this line it will go to the next it will resume next so this is same as like continue on error here we get so in this activity we are not getting so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you